talking casualties. We got, we got some, uh... <laughs> what? Well, what is up, guys? And welcome back to another Skate 3 video. Today, I'm at my... Is it really gonna be that type of video where I just can't talk, but... What I've been trying to say is that I'm on my friend's account right now, so I have a lot of parks downloaded, and I think we're gonna take a look at some of my favorite ones. Basically, what I've been doing is just scrolling through top rated, most viewed, and most recent, I think. Let's just see what I have downloaded here. We should check out the barracks. I think this is the one made by Christian Owens, and I also have another barracks by Fully Flared. Maybe we should go to this one first. I think this is the original one when they moved into the big warehouse or big park. Yeah, this is how it looked in the beginning. Andrew Reynolds, he did a lip slide nose blunt on this. Jamie Thomas has done a Benihana over this here. Yeah, this is the this is the first one. Jamie Thomas did a 50 to manual here. Did he also like gap to back Smith on this? And we got the original color scheme up here in the corner. That is so cool. This is an awesome barracks. Let's just get a clip of this one and then we can get a clip of the other barracks. Should we do the Benihana just because so many people hate on that trick? I love it. I think it's insane. So we'll do that over this gap here. How would you get enough speed for it? We can do it like that it looks like. Nice, let's try to film that. I think it was for the Gramio selfie segment and it was Jamie Thomas in charge of the phone. That was pretty cool. Well, let's check out the other barracks. The other the barracks. Are you supposed to say it like that? Because that sounds weird. And I'm pretty sure this is the one made by Christian Owens. Now we have the mini ring con, the four block, the brick banks here. We got the outlets now, which I think the best trick that's been done on that is actually by a Danish person. Alexander Riesvel, he did a switch tail slide to 70 heel out. Maybe he did a half cap no slide. I actually can't remember. I think he did the switch tail which is really insane. We of course got the little brick quarter here. Got the mani pad, kind of like the other park. Now, this hip is very steep though. I think it's, was it more mellow on the other one? I can't even remember. But we got the A-frame now, and this is made a little bit different. We got the hoppers, still have the kind of kicker gap, and we don't have the kicker to kicker. We have these out ledges here to a three block. In real life, I like this park more than, than the old one. This one feels like it has more stuff for the pros to actually do. But we should try to get something here. Should we do the switch tail slide to 70 heel out? I think we should. First try, maybe? Yeah, but I think we should redo that. There we go, I'm keeping that one. And did I just say there we go again? A shout out to Alexander Rizvad, he is freaking insane. I should probably call him Alexander Rizvad, because that's probably what people outside of Denmark would call him. Okay, I guess that means we're gonna find another park now. Oh, we've got Niger Houston's training facility. Let's try to check that out. I think that's also made by Chris. And also a really great park. I was really amazed by this the first time I saw it. Don't know if you saw Nigel Houston's Instagram recently, but he did a nolly back heel up this Eurogap. Really weird. Kind of a fun way to do it. Maybe that's what we gotta do. Nolly back heel up that. Oh, you can actually drop into it. And you can nolly back heel up. That's perfect. I just want to get something on the gap rail now that we're here. Or, you know, the, the king rail, but we're gonna gap out and skip the kinks. Oh, he is dropping in on flat ground. Is this enough speed? Oh my god, okay, we, we can't push twice. Ah, stop it! Kickflip front willy? <laughs> I think we'll do something else. People are always like, why are you hating on Willis? I, I don't hate on him, I just don't think they look that good. Kickflip to blunt, that would have looked really good. Oh! Kickflip front board? I mean, we can do that, but... I wanted to get the front blunt, that was beautiful. 
Damn. All right, but I think we got enough tricks in Nigel Houston's private training facility now. So let's just see what else I have here. I can't remember half of this. South Banks London, also by Christian Owens. El Toro by Christian Owens. Oh, The Alley here by Evil Navs. I remember finding that and just being blown away. So let's see if it still holds up. It's like a tiny little alley. Yeah, kind of like the name implies. But so you basically you start out here and you can go both ways. So I've not really been skating this way before. You can also go out here. Okay, there's nothing here really. But what do we have here? Have a pole jam. Got some cool maybe wall ride spot. Or hippie jump through that. Got some flat bars. Whoa, <laughs> home. Sherlock Holmes, what, did I say that? Got a cool grind gap here actually. We can also skate this maybe. Wow, and another pole jam spot. Let's try to hit that ledge over here. So how would we do that? We would go up this maybe, uh, and then get stuck on the side. Oh, let's see, maybe a switch back nose blunt. Oh my God. Oh, that was close. Maybe we can't back nose blunt. I guess we find out the first time we get into it. Or maybe we could. Let's just save that. That was actually a really cool spot. I can't remember finding that because I mostly skated in the other end here. So I've skated this one. This is such a cool handrail type spot. It is actually a handrail. I thought it looked low, but that's probably just because of the unrealistic dimensions that the actual Skate 3 world has. Because look at this, is this, would you stop climbing on top of it? I'm trying to show that it is actually hand height. So yeah, that would be natural leaning on that. Let's get a trigger on it. I also think it has like a little kicker to it with the first step here. So we don't even need to pop that high. We also need to go over these lines. So we might lose a little bit of speed. We're not gonna do it goofy. Oh my god, a backside flip nose grind? I think we'll just keep that. That was cool, I like that. But this is just such an amazing park. I mean, all the parks we've checked out so far have been pretty amazing, but this one has a lot of cool spots. Also have like a stair set, and you can land into this little metal bank. Got some driveways, I guess, you can skate. We got a stair set here with a hover, we got a rail on the side, we got another grind gap here. This is just an awesome park, but we've already gotten two clips, so I want to see if we can hit one more. One more park. Hit one more park? Sounds so weird. Oh, Super Mario 64. We should definitely go there. I have it downloaded, so I must have tried it, or maybe I just downloaded it, and I don't know. I can't remember this park. Okay, so that's the Nintendo 64 logo, right? We got a teleport over here. Oh, we're on a star? <laughs> what? And I, I see a rail here. Let's try to hit that. Oh my god, that looks like a really cool castle. Oh, what? That's not the kind of rail you want to sack. See? Come on. We'll, we'll just do a lip slide here. What? This is not a park made for hardcore. <sighs> there we go. Just messing around here, watching the world. Nice. Oh, you land on the castle. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. It's probably not worth it. You can go down here. I actually never completed the game. I played it on Nintendo 64 and then I bought it again for Nintendo DS. Never completed it though, got pretty far. This is an amazing park. Let's just see what these teleports has to offer. What happens when you go here? Then we just get down. Okay, what about the other one? The same thing happens. I mean, it's mostly fun. It's not really forgetting tricks, I guess. This user Smurfs in a box. He's absolutely amazing at making parks. He's part of a team called Legacy. So you can go ahead and check them out yourself, but I've just downloaded pretty much everything he's made. So how about we go to Brixton Courtyard. This part kind of reminds me of that. I think it's the library gap. I don't know if it's actually called that, but you can gap from up here and over these stairs. You can even grind or slide this ledge all the way through. We should probably do some of that. There's also some stuff on the other side. 
mainly just these handrails here and are they they are the appropriate size so they also look really good and just the details in his parts are so amazing but let's get a trick over the gap i think that's what i want to do yeah 360 pop shove it i never do that trick Let's check out another Smurfs in a box park. I think that's his username. I always forget it. I just call him Smurf. Chester Will Square, Beverly Outlet, Songs Pierre Elementary. Let's go to Chester Will Square. But just look at this. We have this kind of street quarter spot. You can grind this, you can gap over this. So much detail here. Are these custom made? This is like a custom made building. So well done. Makes me really want to try out Merge Glitch. I'm probably really missing out. Let's try to get a trick on the street quarter here. Maybe just grind that and then kind of pop into it. It's actually kind of difficult. There we go. I don't know if that's gonna look good. We can try to film that. This is just an awesome park and there's probably a lot more to check out. Does he make those cracks on purpose? The detail here, people. Wow. Let's check out one more park from Smurf and then I think we're done for this video. Let's go to this one, St. Lawrence University, I guess. Because I saw this on Christian Owen's stream, I think, and I was just blown away with the details. Yeah, so first off, you have a gap here. Once again, you can kind of go through that. Rails, flat bars here. We got double set, four flat three with a rail on the side. Got some mellow rails. That's just so much to skate in such a small area. Got these benches here, got three stairs. And then this is probably my favorite area. We got the big stairs to end the line on. And then we have these flat bars to hit a line on in the middle of it. And then you can start out by going up the stairs here. I think we'll get a line like that. Will not do a true switch because I just want to land something. I've been trying this line for so long, so we are just gonna take this. Oh yeah, enjoy the montage. I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like also remember to subscribe and then i'll just hope to see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching peace